the things that goes into choosing songs to promote and all of those things just sometimes some way Mm. Anyway, if you know anything about the song, you can WhatsApp at 055 11 And um, that's our WhatsApp line. I see a lot of you sending your messages in already. Good afternoon, GQ. Oye, listening from Afienya. Oye, how are you doing? This one um, also says, um, hold on a second. The messages just disappeared. Okay, they're back. Good day, GQ. Merry Christmas in advance. Enjoying the show. Great tunes there. Shouts to all the members of the Late Night Clan. And that is from Margaret Parwani. How are you doing, Margaret? And this one says, The traffic situation at Hacho Atomic Energy School due to funeral service at the transition. So bad. I have spent more than two hours from Jackson. Uh, Rasta, you are coming from that side of town. I hear it's terrible. Uh, uh, sorry? Yes, I mean, if... You could be stuck in it and grow like you grow. <laughs> <laughs> it's not funny at all. <laughs> well, it's Christmas traffic, isn't it? So maybe we just have to. This one says, uh, oh, another message for that one. It says, um, good afternoon. There is chaos on the Hatcho Atomic Road near transitions. We need help. Traffic is not moving either ways. Um, please, um, if the police are listening and they can go to that side of town and help, you know, uh, bring some sanity to the streets so that people can commute freely um a saturday with so much traffic i don't envy you guys at all so sorry but hey just keep it locked right here on joe fm we're gonna keep you entertained we've got a great show coming your way and you're gonna love it it was a great year before we get into it, the Creative Arts Bill um, has been passed, finally. Uh, Marco Krikumanto will be joining us later, so we're not going to touch on that. We'll wait for Mike to join us. But Jesse, 2020, creative, tourism, our space. How would you sum it up? How has it been for you, um, you know? Uh, uh, sorry? You will start with the Sadiqs and the... Oh, oh. Since, 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 since Rasta Kwame, just yes, came back. he just came back <laughs> from an amazing tour of Ghana. <laughs> <laughs> like, okay. so Rasta was enjoying it. It was enjoying. The breeze was different. Leave his bay. Leave his bay. I wish I was with Rasta this... I know, I know. Yeah. Next time. Next time, yeah. Next time, yeah. Next time, yeah. Please send me a text. I'll be there myself. For those of you asking... For those asking about Uncle Ken, Uncle Ken is on leave, but um, hopefully he's going to be with us next week. Uh, yeah, it's a joy if you. Yeah, Uncle Ken is chilling. Yeah, I hear he's going to Aqua Safari. Hi, Uncle Ken. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Who? Uh, none of express. your business. Oh, <laughs> the, interested pr- in the Presbyterian women. I'll, I'll call him. I'll, I'll, make a video, I'll put through a video call to him. Sure. I want to know who he is. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. So, um, Jesse, back to you. Mm-hmm. George, so sorry, what's, what's your question? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, in summary, general overview of the year, how has it been for you? Well, I, As somebody I think who follows um, the showbiz fraternity. Well, um, just some few observations. Yeah. Um, it's probably the first time that I, I'm still unsure when Ghana Music Awards was organized. Yeah. Um, because of, obviously, COVID. Yeah. Um, and the, the entire promotion around it uh, was a little bit different. Yeah. Um, it's also the first time that we had seen um, artists in Ghana um, trying to fully embrace digital. Um, those days, digital was technically an avenue for promoting your music and your songs. But sure. uh, it was the first time that we've seen a lot of uh, digital launches and events happening. Yep. Um, I think that the space also saw the year of return. If my memory serves me right, or it was the year before. The year before, yeah. So the this was supposed the year to be the after the reti- beyond the, the yeah, return, beyond the return itself, which never happened. It, it couldn't take off. In F- the, uh, failure to launch. There's a there, there's a topic that your producer had given to me when I was coming here, and Ooh. I told him that look, wh- I have wh- which absolutely is? no interest in that. Philip, uh, if he's around, uh, about beefs and beefs and beefs. Uh, honestly, I, I have I have no interest in that. Oh, the beefs. Uh, <laughs> except except to say that um, <laughs> from. Um, from a disagreement point of view, mm-hmm. uh, from a disagreement point point of view, there there are those who might might want to harness that to project their brand. Exactly. And there's nothing absolutely wrong with that, so long as it doesn't lead to any crazy antagonism, of a sort. Again, the year for me. But, but um, the beefs they sometimes get entertaining, though. <laughs> yes, I mean, like, look, I I'm a I'm a big fan of rap battles. Yeah. So yeah. I like to follow Charlie Clips. Exactly. I like to follow Arsenal. Yeah. You know, I like to follow DNA. Yeah. So I, I've, I've followed the, some of the very hardcore rap artists in America. Mm. And their, their, their rap battles can be crazy. And yeah. sometimes it turns into very crazy beefs and things like that. But so, so you like the musical kind of beefs? Yeah, so I like, um, I like the garage rap kind of beef because it's, 
it's it's permitted yeah uh, and, and i think that the, the culture within that space might seem to allow it mm. uh, especially because the culture can also be very territorial in nature and therefore there is tm in the building um against maybe a dc yeah uh, or maybe it's a pure accra versus ashanti region a, i mean a typical tupac v- biggie for the exactly old school folk. Yeah. and and for me that that level of rivalry yeah. sometimes can be good in projecting um the industry True. Uh, i think one that we had all spoken about a lot was i think medicals um medical, i don't want to say medical is a strong man medical and then yeah strong, strong man. man yeah and it, it made me go to watch the video i think uh maybe me trumpet mm-hmm uh, you know, in uh, on that particular song, right? Sa- uh, Sax song. Yeah. Yes, I, I think that strongman comes exactly after med- medical. Yeah. So it it, it it makes you sense check both of them to see how both performed on the song and things like that. I, I'm not a yeah. I'm not a big fan of non-rap battles per se. Uh, I I feel that those those move into other areas. Uh, but for me, as a as an as an outsider, my biggest excitement during the year was the focus on the creative arts the bill or the funds and the changes because of its implications um on um on entertainment in general so okay. for me that's like that's my biggest that's my <coughs> biggest call out of the year itself uh beyond everything else so i'm, I'm excited to be here to speak about that oh but you're not being felt so 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 you didn't enjoy the miss bell tracy watchy beef where um when, when did that happen <laughs> <coughs> or or the if you're versus miss bell beef you didn't enjoy those beefs miss miss bell you are being beef criminal <laughs> this, this is not a fan of tablet no no he, he he is being beef beef criminal he's a fan of more <laughs> so you, you you said miss b was <laughs> miss v was miss miss no, v, no, v, v. Uh, miss bell versus tracy watch oh miss bell i remember miss bell very well yeah no, um, no, she no. had some good songs before yeah that was the papanoic beef the what the papanoic beef i have absolutely no oh, idea sadik, what you're talking sadik, about sadik knows. Oh, sadik. No, but, but you follow the beef I've, I've also have absolutely no idea uh thank god rasta has come today rasta, <laughs> rasta also have idea. <laughs> you also don't have a nice return from leave I beg you. <laughs> <laughs> but was it was there beef like that oh that yeah. was a beef you know miss bell and tracy Boache put up quite a show was an issue you when the, the you know the whole papa no uh, what what genre of music does tracy do uh, uh, no she's an actress <laughs> So live then, why are we discussing it? Live music. Uh, it's showbiz. It was a show. Ah, okay, okay, okay. But so she's I, an actress. I, I, I was confused. So she's oh. an actress, and then uh, Miss Bell is a musician. You know. Okay, so they were, they, they were. German okay, that's fine. It's okay. Uh, you know, they actually had a beef. They, 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 <laughs> they sort of um, went hard at each other. Nobody knows who they were fighting about. You know, one of them used the line "Papano." Nobody till date, we still don't oh, know who the Papano is. Jerry and another beef should be as well. They are political celebrities. Who and who? What did you say? Who said no? that mm-hmm. um, it has been revealed <laughs> that um, allegedly that, that <laughs> there is we now know who the papano is. Oh, really? Yes. Who? who? You are beef, <laughs> beef discriminatory <laughs> in this very moment. That's not cool. Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. It's been revealed. Yes. All right. Then um, there was also the popular Funny Face versus Lil Wayne, Bismarck the Joke, and Calibos one as well. Uh, yeah. That made sense. That made sense to me in, uh, with <coughs> regards to, you know, the location, the venue of that. Um, the beef. The crowning moment of their beef. It's been simmering mm. in petty gossips and um, all over the place. I mean, but when it happened at the venue, um i think that the mediation team sent by echo was led by father dixon you know <laughs> peace <laughs> and reconciliation is very expensive mm. so i am reliably informed that they everybody got their lorry fare back home and they smoked the peace pipe they got lorry fare back home and that was very very important i think it's unprecedented i'm not sure stoneboy and shata were you know appeased in any yeah i think something happened yeah so once you are beefing it ought to be worth your while with regards to your pocket and your momo you know so sister if you you know shook the and, and going by what jesse said the kind of beef that he likes the musical ones mm. the ones that bring out talent and dexterity i mean um, sister if actually shook the female fraternity when she decided to deviate into rap music 
which is in line with what you're saying and initiated a grubby beef among the female musicians with a diss song titled WMT and of course she had a response from Eno Baroni who fired back with Rap Goddess uh, it escalated into a, a body shaming fight when they released subsequent diss songs for each other I mean it was it was it was something pretty interesting. Let me see if I can find the Sister Ifia uh, track. I think I had it somewhere. Yeah, it's here. Let's take a listen to that one and then we'll come back to hear the tracks that were unleashed after that one. We are rolling! <laughs> station in the industry and Eno Baroni responded with this
and physical altercations at the media houses. Frida Rhymes, you know, an uninvited guest took a fear on with subtitle jabs in her KMT for invading the rap scene without permission. <laughs> if you responded with You Got Nerves, which we played earlier, which also directs at Eno and um, as a result, she clashed with Frida um, at a media house where a brawl, you know, nearly broke. You know, um, they also appeared on other TV shows and, you know, uh, it went further. But they united with their first collaboration titled Saucy. Let us hear the Frida Rhymes track KMT and then we'll come back and have a conversation with my studio panel. <laughs> chat with my panel members before we go on to other things don't forget we're going to be going deep into the creative arts bill that's been passed and then we'll look at other things that you know happened in the year as we review um sadiq yeah george some have said that beefs are good because it brings out the very best as far as creativity is concerned in the act some have also said it creates needless animosity between the act and sometimes it degenerates into violence when their fans are unable to understand the concept what's your take um, well, I agree with both um, schools of thought. Mm. Um, obviously, um, beefs, uh, like you rightly stated, brings out the best in creativity and most importantly, helps to create buzz around these musicians and talents <coughs> and their products. Um, some are able to leverage that to, I mean, make some something meaningful out of it. Um, I also agree with the other school of thought that beefs could degenerate into anything at all i mean there are a lot of case studies or examples to show across the world i mean we've seen how the there's a famous one the biggie to pack one um the other ones as well um but uh, on the other hand as well been, we've seen we have cases or examples of beefs that have really helped to catapult some musicians to the top and really help to cement their legendary status or court like uh, uh, status in the music industry you know, it's also helped to drive sales. It's also helped to drive um, event attendance. It's done a lot of things. There's a famous one that happened here. That I don't know a lot of people remember. Do you know what the buzz around Shatawali Samini did to the beginning mm. of the eruption? Remember? Mm. Yeah, I remember. You know, the the, the Akon concert. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Proud to that, it was it was a head off yeah. in Ghana to have international artists headline a show. And majority or eighty percent of the people go to the show because of the local talent. Yeah, I mean it was, it was not it was not something that was usual here, but because the Samini Shatawale beat at the time had hit the its climax, and there was a show where everybody was going to express or show their worth. People forgot that you had Akon on the show. Big Sean, everybody, people were not even interested in Akon and Big Sean. Mm -hmm. There was just at every point in time there was. A chant for Samini or a chant for Shatawale Shata at, at a certain point. And about 80, for the first time, even after Chris Brown, I don't think we saw a crowd at the at Crossport Stadium to come, come in to watch a concert that massive. 
and about 80 to 90 percent of the people there had showed up because it was Shatawale and Samini performing. Well, and, well, it, well, and it was it was that deep. Was any of you at that concert? You were yes, there. Yes, I, I was there. Uh, Rasta, were you there? Yes, sir. Jesse, yeah. were you able to make it? No, no, no. I didn't. I was and you know, everybody, it, look, Akon came. When Akon came, everybody said, Wale. At a certain point, they say Samini, high grade. Big Sean, nobody. Big Sean had a big hit song. I don't know if you yeah. know at the time. Yeah. We were not interested in seeing No, they were in a hurry to see Wale and, um, and Samini. Samini. Case close. And that yeah. was the night Wale came from the sky from the, somewhere. The yeah, with a crane. You know. And I mean, obviously, that was a nice Samini also really cemented a certain status because you could see the animosity at the stadium. Mm. Nobody, I mean, a number of us had not performed with that hostility. Uh, uh, Sadiq, you are not narrating <laughs> it well. Jesse, when <laughs> Samini got on the stage, <laughs> the entire stadium was shouting, Wally, Wally. 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 By the Wally. time he yeah. left, by the time, taking up no, not shirt. by the time he left, <laughs> about five, ten minutes into his act, ah. the same people who were shouting Wally, Wally. were now oh, shouting high grade. Oh, wow. They are taking their, <laughs> how he did it, only no, God. I'm, I'm not sure even him knows how <laughs> he no, does so. it was that i think that first time i saw that kind of um hostile crowd yeah. Yeah. it was somewhere 2004 2005 at the trade fair mm -hmm. center yeah. when um abeku santana was mc yeah so there was this Nigerian, was it Rahim or he has a Muslim name? Rahim Karim. Sorry. Karim. 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 Oh, okay. Idris. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, what's his name? Eze. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Loud yeah. Idris. Yeah, Loud, Loud in Accra. Accra. Yeah, <laughs> Loud in Accra. And listen, Papa Yangsin, God bless his soul, he was built to perform. So the moment he got on the stage, he, I mean, he was doing his thing, mm -hmm. the slow, you know. Yeah. And then the crowd, like, Almost everybody was like, are we, are we? Oh, and then oh, yeah. the stones were coming oh, dear. like in bits mm -hmm. from, you know, and in <laughs> smaller sizes, the initial. <laughs> so <laughs> the, the warm up stones. I mean, the whole Papa Yang scene on stage and then Abeku didn't know what to do. Mm -hmm. So I think one got too close for Papa Yang sense likening. So he had to stop the band. Mm -hmm. Hey. Amara, my Jimmy, Amara, my Mwabi, you know, yeah, yeah, it was yeah. that funny, and that's how he turned his feet like uh, yeah, yeah, he it turned was it that around, yeah. funny, you know, like he tell your father telling you to stop this game right there, right there, then, you know, so and, and then this obviously <laughs> yeah, there's a video what it, it yeah. was almost magical, yeah. yeah. Yes. Just by the merit of his talent yes. and the way yes. he did it. Yes. I mean, you talk to the staunchers of Shatter fans and that whatever. All of them. All of um, them were surprised. Influence. Yes. Uh -huh. They'll still tell you that, yo, that day. They, Samini really, Samini really did something team. magical. Samini was my team. You know, and, and by the time he left, with all the thing that was happening, almost everybody had taken off their shirt and the handkerchiefs and everybody was, was just, you know, <laughs> waving it. Yeah. But so, so um, I started this example also to bring to mind the fact that beefs could lead to this thing so you can imagine at the time if streaming was big here at the time mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. and even you could see that the fact that a number of people were interested there were certain bars that drew a number of people to the event itself in the first place it obviously contributed to the revenues of the event or even for the brand activation that was happening it would definitely would have contributed something to it and then again there's a part about samini and Sh um, shatawale himself in fact shata i mean bit by bit managed to rise to the top here through beefs yep. some of it he definitely he did he, he intentionally instigated it you know gave it a certain narrative that worked for him and then he built it so yes um beefs help there's a good part of it and obviously there's a bad part of it or the negative part of it uh, most of us have always um really focused on the positive part of it and how it helps to shine a spotlight on hitherto or known talent or known genres, you know. And then obviously, um, with I mean, I know if I can is listening for us, he's has he's he's he belongs to the part that I've always taken a, a stand against it because of the fear that it could degenerate. But if you realize in the ways it's happened within the last few months, it's not gone to that length. We're oh. praying hopeful that it, in future these things do not degenerate into that. But obviously, there are positives to it as well. Well, a beef that also nearly ended in 2019 was um, carried over into 2020. That was um, when Sarkodie in March this year responded to Chatawale's constant social media attacks and this song. Yeah. 
little tip in that's an Instagram a, that, post. That was a lockdown period. Exactly. <laughs> Sarko <laughs> said he wouldn't save Shatawale's career. He wrote, the media on the phone trying to get me to respond to beefs. Nah, man. I am done saving a lot of careers. 2020, you pay for response. Sarko later released a diss song for all rappers titled Sub-Zero. The yeah. song sparked heated arguments. But I think the sub- Sub-Zero was more targeted mm-hmm. at um, Asem. Are you sure? There was more, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think at the time, Asem, Asem and then what's the other guy's name? Borji. And there's been a lot of jabbings here and there, indirect jabbings. And, well, it is believed, even though it's not, it was not directly stated that it was for them. It was, it's believed that it's a response to these two rappers. Mm. You know, and the Sub-Zero was really, really hot. What? Well, it was a lockdown period. <laughs> uh, did you hear it? it? Rasta, did you hear that one? Yeah, Sub-Zero. Yeah. Jesse, no. you heard it too? Was, yes. Um, um, and I, and I said, yeah, Are you sure it was for Asem? That same energy that provoked yeah, it. Yeah, that same and Borgi. just added mm. some one or two auxiliaries like it was themed on that same. Yeah. For those that never heard Sub-Zero, here it is. Rockers, I'm not the same, I'm not going to reply. I'm not going to die, I'm not going to fly. I'm not going to die, I'm not going to die, I'm not going to die. I'm not going to die, I'm not going to die. already released this one. Now, in summary, I mean, um, Jesse, from a yes. marketing perspective, to sum it up on this beef thing, from a marketing perspective, Sadiq did uh, make a point about how sometimes it brings some visibility to the musicians. I mean, what could possibly go wrong with one's brand if he should embark on a beef? Okay. Uh, I'm sorry. What could possibly go wrong? No, I, 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 yeah. I hear you. Yeah. Ha- have we had a beef? Has Ghana and Nigeria had a beef in terms of who has better uh, um, movie content and quality? Uh, Jolof. Have we had that before? Uh, no, we haven't. No. Music, we, we, we have. Yeah, we have. music, we M- have. Even music. Uh, oh, music, we, we, we've been we, there. We, we've been there. We've so been the, there. See, the music point that I want to make is this. Profound. Yeah, see, yeah. But, but we've been there. Yeah. The yeah. point yeah. that I want to make is this. I really don't care mm-hmm. about the beef. Yeah. Because of this. 
when when somebody saw the poster for today's program yeah. the person sent me a link of i think sadiq has mentioned it before netflix their investment in nigeria exactly. over the past one year yeah. or so yeah from 2018 yes. when they invested through the ladies uh, um oh the lax lady yeah, yeah uh, Genevieve, Genevieve Nagy. Nagy, yeah the fantastic investment yeah from that point up until now turn on your netflix it's and take a look at the number of investments they have done in nigeria mm. i am sure it probably will be in the millions of dollars true mm. how many announcements have been made in ghana mm -mm. I, I, I don't know. Except so, the few ones mm -mm. that was acquired through Nigerian aggregators. Exactly. Mm -hmm. like so the, my point is this: that Charlie Joe, I There's really don't picture. care yeah. about who's beefing who. Yeah. If the beef works for your career, all well and good. I'm very happy for you. Exactly. Um, I can imagine that sometimes for our for our act, it's important to go through to establish supremacy or dominance. Yeah. So maybe you might say Sack did this to be able to establish dominance or ABCD. But I, I honestly don't care. Exactly. What I care about is where the artists themselves want to go to. Yeah, they want to go global. Mm -hmm. They want to make money. Do they? Exactly. That's and 2020. It doesn't seem right. Didn't pay out for many businesses, for media houses, for event organizers, for the artists. They didn't make money. No, they didn't. So it, well, it depends. It, it depends on who. But I'm just saying that. Look, it largely, depends on those whose career depends on events. No, I do get that. Yeah. But George, I'm, I'm saying that the likes of MTN, Tigo, Vodafone, yeah. they were big on event organizations and yeah. therefore you probably would have lost just five million ghana cities this year alone mm -hmm. that the guys didn't get from events yeah three music didn't happen this year it, it did it did it happened as a virtual event, but the amount of money that you would have paid for an uh, for a yeah. proper yeah. event yeah, yeah. so yeah. they've lost money yeah so i, I well, one of the another big observation for 2020 is how much money was lost from shows mm -hmm. and how much money was made from digital activities yeah and how much can we do digitally to compensate for the money's lost? Lost. So for me, I, I, honestly, I, I don't care. To be honest, I really let, don't let care. us get into that part of, the, of it. On the big picture, Charlie, Charlie, I don't yeah, care. Yeah. <laughs> let, let us get into that part of it. Eventing space. No, oh, Rasta, uh, you want to say yes, something? Yes, yeah. Yes, I, I would want to, I'm not entirely disagree, but say that it's not wholly true yeah. if we say that um, the artist lost. Um, I mean, hearing Jesse speak, mm. I was thinking, okay, hold on a minute. Mm. Last year, for instance, three music awards. That's 2019, you mean? 2019. Yeah. How many sponsors were there? No, many less. Um, I, I, Let's not even count because less, we yeah. are even struggling to recall. No, I'm not now, trying to count the sponsors. I'm trying to understand where you're going as compared I'm, I'm, to what Jesse said. Okay, because I so, think you might so, have missed the point no, no, no. I was trying to make. So I'm saying that I do not wholly... The losses that impacted the industry. Mm. So again, the realities of our lives if we juxtapose 2019 which was the year of return for instance uh -huh. to um 2020 covid uh, i mean yeah themed yeah year who only those who had somewhere to go have lost some revenue mm. believe you me we are in the trenches mm. with them and mm. like 75 percent i dare say fortunes as in musicians especially, even with the actors, what were they doing really in 2019? The, the highlight moment was when some act, uh, Hollywood folks came down mm. and they missed out on the tea party. Mm. Mm. The, the film okay. party is, is so again, mm. in 2019, mm. when there was no COVID, you couldn't hit those heights. Mm. When there is COVID, bro... It becomes worse. It becomes, for me, normal because in 2019, you were there. In 2020, <laughs> unless you were counting on a miracle, what did you do with your life in 2019 but, to even but, yield but, in 2020? But Kwame, don't you think what, COVID you're, or what, not? You, what you're saying is highly, uh, debatable. very debatable? Yes. Because you are, it's a lot of um, conjecture. You're not assumptions. even sure of what you're saying. It's a lot of assumptions. Because mm, um, you're, you're speaking generally. I cited because an event, for instance, 2019. Sadiq, Sadiq had to struggle to pay acts who yeah. were built to perform on a hugely, vastly discounted rate. Yes. The difference in 2020 is he didn't, he didn't even happen. get to pay at all. Mm -hmm. Or even those who performed were on some kind of deal. Mm -hmm. Listen, it's, if we are talking about audience participation, 
and revenue losses there. Yeah, that, one, yeah. that is factual. Good. But that is where I think Jesse was coming from because 2020, 2020, 2020 positioned everything differently. Yes. You it know, it put everybody in a space that we were not used to. It is the norm in 2020. So How if is you're telling norm? me that because yeah. um, of your situation, we should look at you as a special case and that you've lost revenue. I'm saying that the farmer lost, the everybody <laughs> lost, the radio presenter How lost. How did the farmer no, lose? No, but Hold see, on. But you see, Rasta, what Jesse is making, the point Jesse is making is that, yes, all of, a lot of these people lost, lost, but in terms of different other industries, there's been plans to lift them out of it. I'm saying that but 75% in the that find ourselves, based on but, but he was the also few looking at the bigger act. picture. He was also looking at the bigger picture where uh, it doesn't look like our industry is... Is okay. getting to that point. So, in other words, what I'm saying is, mm -hmm. those who are crying foul and on terms of you are saying they have I no say, reason okay, to cry okay, because if the they year before was same. Quam, if they can work harder, Quam, Quam, hold on one sec. Jesse, hold on one sec before you come in. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. The Netflix announcement. Yeah. Um, the last yeah, announcement the they made for Nigeria. Episode. Yeah. The first was in 2018. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The last I found out was in 2020 in Nigeria during the COVID period. Mm -hmm. In fact, there's and a the, lot of announcements. Even and the yeah. basis for that is a track record of what you were doing before. Exactly. Yeah. Now, let's even imagine on, a, on the average, every announcement is $2 million. Yeah. As an example, again, I, I don't know. Yeah. That's a lot of money. Plenty. Good. Now, during that same period, have we not been producing content as a country? Mm -hmm. The answer is yes. Mm -hmm. Are we not doing some? So I'm not talking about. I'm not saying everybody, mm -hmm. but I'm just saying that there are some who are doing a very damn good job in this country. Yes. And therefore, my focus is the fact that how do we position ourselves in such a way that look, we can we can either move ourselves on the average in a very good good way. How, how do we move from a beef yes. economy to a moving from <laughs> mo moving from a beef economy or even using the supposed beef yeah. to mm -hmm. accelerate us in a very much more stronger manner. Like they, they have to be so, an overarching so, plan. Yes, everything there, that there must be doing. something that we're working towards. I'm also saying that COVID or not, we had everything at our disposal once we had life to have made or uh, press the right button. Mm -hmm. So but these announcements happen. that were happening in Nigeria, for instance, yes. should have happened here. Could have. Okay. Now, now here is hold on, hold on. Yeah, oh, no, hold on, hold on, here, hold on, hold on, hold on. So you get me in full. Mm -hmm. Kwame Eugene, the last time he came here was coming from somewhere on the outskirts. Yeah. And Albert was like, Charlie, COVID, I said, yeah, hey, it's only in Accra. Hey, mm. And then, again, I'm saying that if somebody wants a guru or a medical or somebody outside of Accra, mm. they will get him. And it is happening. So again, what is your excuse? Let's not overestimate. Let, let, me, let me, no, we are not overestimating. Okay. Again, when you brought in three music awards, I wanted to tackle that particular example. Okay. Last year, three music awards gained some visibility. Maybe if I didn't attend, I didn't buy a ticket to go watch. I was planning to do so this year. COVID mm -hmm. made that impossible. Mm -hmm. Forget sponsors. Do you know how much revenue they could have generated from ticket sales alone? Yeah, in fact, for the first, so, you know, for the first time, uh -huh. first time from, from first time in three years, it's yeah. a fact. for COVID, for mm -hmm. the first time in three years, we had a major sponsor this year. Uh -huh. You know, uh -huh. and obviously it was owing to owing to the gains that have been made from yeah one from year the previous build-up. Build exactly. Yeah. So we're building on, but then when we had that. We, it helps us to expand. So then now it was moving from a single day event mm -hmm. to the fan festival friends that had a number of them built. Fantastic. Then Corona came and obviously lost Boom. all of that. But gentlemen, so moving forward, yeah. but beyond that, hold on, Rasta, let me finish. Yeah, take a look, even look at the terrain. So if last year, for instance, there was a number of events, I know, for instance, from our foundation perspective, that a number of the Ghanaian artists that played, mm. most of them got not less than ten thousand dollars. So if that is not happening this year, it's a loss. Now take a look at a the, loss to who. To, to They've the, been paid that, already. No, I know. That's what I'm saying. For this year, mm -hmm. this year, a lot of them didn't play that, including those that were also even supposed to play outside of it. Portugal, mm -hmm. some obviously got bookings for Puerto Rico. Yes. One. They have the payment already. Yes. But once it didn't COVID happen, time, you got paid. Now, now, now when you compare, no I'm coming. When you compare it to, obviously, they carry, you carry it yeah, over. Of course. When you compare to the MPAX KPMG report that, uh, that projects that close about 30 million uh, has been lost uh, during the COVID period. A number of those events are supposed to be actress driven events yes. that, are, that were all going off. So there will be losses there as well. Mm -hmm. But I'm sure Rasta is thinking that, oh, if they made losses here, they probably made some gains with streaming. But they would even tell no, you no. that. I'm only saying that the losses, I mean, there's no conversation about it. It's a fact of yeah. our reality is that okay. we've yeah, lost good. some revenue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. But, George, mm -hmm. you mentioned no, no, the. the, 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 the um, that. Yes, um, the three, three music, music yeah. bits. We're here when government promised to give um, Charter House some do. 
Uh, I never heard that promise. Okay, I was at the launch yeah, yeah, of yeah, yeah. the Ghana Music Awards, the twentieth yes. edition. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, wait, 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 yeah I think so. I think so. Yeah, I think ah, it was that yes, one. Yeah, good, yeah, yeah, yeah I, I, I remember. <laughs> I it was at the launch. Yeah, I remember. I remember when that one. When did the money yeah. come? Are you aware? You know, no, I don't good. remember. The money never came. That was last year. I am saying that. How do you know? Hey. Oh, Where did I you don't go? know. <laughs> if it can, like you think, say we not go do billboard. <laughs> See, can, like the audit report will show. You understand? And even far from that, I am saying that in the COVID year, we still made payments. In the very least, yeah. we had monies from, or we were made to believe that monies had come in for agents and agencies under the Creative Arts. Mm -hmm. For the mere fact that the money did not come this year to Charterhouse, would also did just like Sadiq did. They organized the music awards, right? Yeah, they did it. Thank you. Yeah, virtually, right? Now, where is the money, for instance? I am saying that, and my argument is, the money not coming has got nothing to do with COVID. It, if COVID had not struck, would have the, the, if the money would still not have been <laughs> released. Okay, so I'm this confused. is where... That's Myself, that's I'm that's confused too. Off, but this is where, let me just break down what Jesse was arriving at. Yes. Jesse's point is, okay, um... Yes, there's a because it was he's taking it from the lead from George that oh yeah. well, uh, there's some benefits from um, beefs here and there. But to him, he doesn't care about all these things if it's all not connected to an overarching plan to ensure that Ghana is well positioned globally to take out advantage, advantage of some of these time. situations. You know, exactly. like for instance, I mean beyond even Netflix, Sony is in Nigeria, uh -huh. Universal is in Nigeria, exactly. Um, Wanna Music is in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. Wow. Um, Aristocrat has within the past deal. three years. Yes, uh, yeah. I mean, within the past five years, it's been building. Well. But there's a number of other aggregators that are coming. I know, bearing any change, Spotify is launching in January. Mm. But I, I know that the Spotify one may extend to Ghana. We so. have our first job for the agency. <laughs> yes. It appears. May extend, <laughs> yeah, may extend to Ghana as well. But mm. obviously, Ga Nigeria is always a focus. But your point is that all these things should always feed into an overarching plan. But in their case, there was also a certain part that was played by industry in partnership with government. Mm. You know, where government wanted to create a certain enabling environment for these specific companies to come in mm. because they knew that, one, it was going to contribute to um, um, employment. Obviously, it was also going to help empower the sector. Avenue for employment. Yes, empower the sector. Mm -hmm. You know, so you remember I was telling you about how Nigeria, for instance, has a Ministry of Communications and Digital yes, Economy. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Part of the things that they are doing from the state side to enable it. these things fit into it. Interesting. So, and it's good we've started this conversation from the COVID point of view because that's where I'm going to go next. It has nothing to do with review. It has everything to do with what is happening now. Um, let me also remind our viewers that we are streaming live online. You can um, follow at Joy99.7 on um, Facebook and you can also tweet at us at Joy99.7 hashtag showbiz A to Z. Um, just, you know, go on Facebook. Watch how the gentlemen are looking fine and um you know sipping on some well, fine juices and i'm um, enjoying <laughs> the show work. you can ah, see kwame rasta's fine dreadlocks yeah ah, he's back and in charge rasta. and all that you can see jesse's fine shirt i mean you, you should go on facebook Charlie, watch us watch George, us live yeah small protest mm -hmm. the same way the ladies were here and senior will see Sentinels. He should also send message that you're also here. You too. Yeah. <laughs> you deserve power, treat. So top woman should also send in that she's giving us a Interesting. Treat. Gentlemen, <laughs> in India, for instance, the Taj Mahal was just reopened after long, you know, periods of um, shutdown. A lot of countries went into lockdown and some are actually going back into lockdown. Yeah. London as we speak there's a, there's a, you know there's a, yeah what about some are going others are managing it. Manage there are times that you can come out. There are times and all those things. Some have said that Ghana is being quote unquote reckless because um, we've opened doors. It's just about December. We've started hearing the event advert and all those things. We had somebody was um, um, Omale who was um, arrested for in being Uganda. careless, uh, you know, in Uganda for being careless about COVID principles. <laughs> we also heard um, uh, Tom Cruise screaming to his um, actors on set. Look, um, I have been on sets and. I, well, I cannot say people are that strict on the COVID, um, you know, stuff. I have been to a few events, you know, and I can I can say for sure that people so aren't that strict on the COVID. So, <laughs> Jesse, are we risking the lives of Ghanaians needlessly in the name of Christmas? Hmm. So, I, I, if, if Samson Ladi Ayani was here, I would have asked him a question. <laughs> I, I would have said that the executive instruments yeah. issued by the president yeah. is it time bound? No, it's expired. It was for three it, it months. Expired, yeah, it was, it was for, for three, three months. So, legally, 
there is no other is there something to. holding us legally before we talk com common sense mm -hmm. so um if that education comes in i think it'll be great yeah uh, because i think it's elapsed it was it's for it's a 90 day period. yeah i think it was because for I, I remember that the power that the municipal authorities had like the ama was that trying to enforce yeah had a basis for that yeah and i don't know whether yeah, the yeah, ama on its laws. own can can also say that we look we, we want to enact a bylaws to govern our activities within greater Accra region so from yeah. a legal side I need some medication, and uh, if it's elapsed, is it something that you can repeat? Maybe because of the elections that came up, mm -hmm. uh, it wasn't. I, I I don't think the president's mandate changes because he's in an election. So, yeah. uh, what what kind of education can he send us if mm -hmm. it's possible? So that's number one. Second bit is on the common sense bit. Um, as human as we are, look, we we also have a right to protect ourselves. And Joy FM is still ensuring that when you're walking through it, uh, your doors, the, the protocols are still in place. But George, unfortunately for us, within a social setting, once you push the boundary a little bit and there is no implication, you will test the boundary again and again and again. My, my friends here are big within the creative art space. Bloom Bar still the pop, no? Yeah. yeah, the yeah. Pop. Well, and there's, the and there's pop. action yeah. there all the time. Yeah. Um, full you've house. Been to, I, I've been to Honey a couple, a couple of times. Full house. Full house. Yeah. Um, yeah, um, yeah so everywhere activity is happening. Yeah. On the political front, it was a full house. Yeah. Um, we're all guns blazing with health work. Yeah. So we've created the notion that COVID is here, but now I think we, we seem to sound as if it's like malaria. If you get it, it will go. Yeah. And therefore, we, we are all. If you die, you die. <laughs> If so, you, George, I, I, I don't know whether it's, it's um, I don't know whether the, the law can be triggered again, or I don't know whether there can be much more pressure on the social setting. I'll give an example. I, I, I hear you advertising um, Night to the... Thousand Laughs. A Thousand Laughs or so. Uh, a Thousand and Twenty Seven. That's the chat house. Yeah, yeah the joy so from So, is there a yeah, limitation yeah. on how many people can enter the auditorium, mm -hmm. how many tickets are being sold, and yeah. who's ensuring and, and, and enforcing that? A sax program. Um, Rapaholic. It's, it's on 25th. Yeah. It's happening. Christmas Day. So, uh, and we know how that program packs. Yeah. Now, what's our basis for saying don't pack it? Yeah. When social politically we are failed to unpack it. Yeah. So for me, I, I feel that there's a, there's a kind of, there's a kind of strictness that we need this December. I don't think. Already, well, I, I, I don't know if it can be. We've lost that. I don't, I don't, lost listen, listen, see, I, mean, I don't know whether it can be led by, say, executive presidency. Some things can it's be led at the municipal level, as an example. And therefore, within the market, because people are shopping now, mm -hmm. AM is, look, the power is, the power to control seems to be gone. No, no, no. As for the market, the more I realize that it's as gone. For, as for it's the, the market, the market it's gone. The, the resolve it's of authority, was, authority was, was broken. One voice, gentlemen. One voice, gentlemen. was broken, particularly during the campaign. That was the next question I was going to ask. Exactly. Behind having to now want to rein in people. And even When you did A, B, C, D. Mm. And beyond that, I mean, obviously, a lot of these things, the lead is taken by the states. Yeah. So there's obviously a Ghana Health Service, who, mm -hmm. and then there's a COVID team yes. who yeah. are all advising the president yes. and advising the state in what to do yes. and all of those things. These people went to sleep for the past three to four months when we were all campaigning. Or there were other things that got our attention more than them. Which attention? They were, they were, they were politics, they were, they were, they were campaigning no, and things like that. these are technical people working. They were well, not campaigning see, so I, guess, I guess my point is mm -hmm. this, that maybe... Because as far maybe as we've, when the campaign was maybe going on, they were still managing COVID. They yes. still was, they were still having but cases. See, maybe so, morally we're gone. Yeah. So maybe we need to come back again. We need to have a conversation because whether you like it or not, Christmas shopping has already started. But you see, there's another part of it, Jesse, that you're yes. looking at, where, for instance, the state has not adequately compensated industries and organizations that have been heavily impacted by it. Mm. Oh no no, and, Sadiq, and no, no, Sadiq, Sadiq, hold on, hold on. When you off. when you go that way yeah. now, we we'll would yeah. miss the major focus okay, on this okay, discussion because okay, right. this discussion is about life and death. Yeah. Yes. Are people's well, lives are being there, needlessly George. put George, at risk? Because if you it. argue that because the state has not adequately compensated them, then the state has. Uh, that's why they've taken their feet off the gas or of the uh, a little it's bit it's just possible. to say, okay, so it's make likely, some money. Yes. But that I don't want us to even go there yet. It could be a reason, but I don't want us to even look at it yet. Let us analyze the main issue. Hold on, hold on, hold on, Sadiq, hold on, hold on, hold on. You know, could it be that, let us say maybe the state, and you rightly mentioned moral justification, they all went to bed so they can do their campaign, forget all the COVID-19 safety and all, let's chew our dawa dawa and do the campaign. Uh, somebody said we should eat dawa dawa. Was it president? Okay. Yeah, let's eat dawa dawa and do campaign and, and all those things. Uh, uh, exactly, you know. Um, 
maybe because they did that they are afraid to dare say that okay we finished campaign we won power or it's we are contesting it so you cannot campaign or you cannot uh, organize any of it. so maybe they've lost it there but could the event organizers could the plans i know for instance somebody like um, stoneboy canceled bim concert mm. uh he canceled a shaman to the world yeah. and he rather did a certain walk to promote the wearing of face masks and then did another, and then smaller, did event. another smaller event that still had people exactly yeah. that had people come up but ensuring all this uh, COVID protocols yeah. could others have taken it upon themselves that okay i'm shelving this event because i want you to be safe George, so that i want to, to explain, ensure to explain where i was going to you it would have helped the case here mm. that also because all these people feel suffocated first and foremost and they are the risk of dying off they are in a very desperate situation to save what is left mm. so in that particular situation they are not thinking along the lines that you are creating so they now are thinking and trying to find ways around it so they meet of uh, authority to say okay how do we make the most out of it because obviously i mean a lot of things are happening but we are in the dark but we also want to at least salvage what is left for the year mm. right so let's find a way around it i'm aware or i understand that a number of what has informed the event that is coming up this december for instance, like the night of thousand laughs and the republics and everything is also because I, I don't know if my the information I got is wrong, but if I'm basing it on that, it means that they met the the, the groups, i.e. Empark, for instance, uh -huh. met the state ministry, GTA, and sort of tried to create um, um, a guideline uh -huh. for events uh -huh. to say, okay, if we're going to do A, B, C, D, this is what we are going to do. We can have X number of people in there. They have to wear masks. They have to do A, B, C, D. They have to do A, B, C, D. You understand? And then obviously the states may have caved into that pressure from that side because but but didn't they the, didn't didn't the tourism that. ministry itself release like a calendar for this for this period yes, yes they, they did, did. Yeah, they did. That that was i was after about to go meeting. into the calendar recently and, and, and there's a guideline the guideline is i all fall off from the meetings they had with the different yes, but Sadiq, groups. i have just told you that i don't know if uh, kwame you've attended any event so far there yes, are a few events that i have attended and, and i can none, tell you on authority none, nobody none is following any covid 19 there. safety protocols the, yes. but, 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 but <laughs> listen the guy like we, 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 we've sat here and we've called out the state for having lost the mura mm -hmm. reasons to shut us or clamp us again mm -hmm. now i quite remember when we were all calling on anything we could to help us mm. see us through COVID. Mm. Your um, people, the NDC, put yeah. together a crack team mm. of experts. The, the COVID yes. Team. I think that it would only be fair that whilst we are calling out the state, I ask what and uh, whether your people have issued any statement on the way forward. I mean, even if it's a social media post, that could even help us, you know, Mm. Take care no, of ourselves. I mean, Rasa, I don't so think can that. I, can I correct something? Think, yeah. can I correct? Oh, yes. Well, well, which, which is why I, I like his choice of word, the mm. state. The state, exactly. The state. Because, because if, you said, say, if, you, if, you, if you had said the government, yeah. yeah. Then I can understand that from a from a government perspective, then so, it, it's because one side. service, for instance. So, isn't so well, once we say yeah. the state itself, it's it's more like um, everybody from yeah. Ghana Health Service to the district the assembly. Actors, to, yeah. You mm -hmm. sitting here, everybody, everybody else, so we, we form not necessarily it party. so that we're not splitting it. So un but, unless but, you want to say but that... But even besides... So, Sadiq, hold on, let him land. Sadiq, form. hold on, let him land. Then we can come uh, un so Unless, we, can unless we want to say, okay, because we are pointing fingers at the ruling government to yeah. say mm -hmm. that the government's push shut towards COVID during the election wasn't any better. I mean, the box stuff. So and then, then, the, so. then you might say that the opposition's posture also towards mm -hmm. COVID during the election yes. wasn't Especially any better. Especially when they set aside yes, but that's what I'm saying. But, 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 for but, that but even besides the point, I don't yeah. think that mm -hmm. anybody, when I talk about moral justification, it's mm -hmm. not directed at one side. Yes, yes, yes. I'm yes, saying yes. that given what has happened during the campaign, mm -hmm. we everybody was guilty of it. All of us. So in terms of moral justification, even we in this room, yes, no? you are not yeah. looking at it to say, yeah. oh, one party, because they were, they, they, they were in power, mm -hmm. is guilty than the others. Mm. All of us, so everybody had broken in, and there was no resolve. Obviously, uh, more will go to the ruling party because obviously you're in charge of the <laughs> state organizations to rein in everybody else. Mm -hmm. But at this particular point, mm -hmm. nobody has moral justification to pull up. What, what would be the moral justification from our side when we've pulled on the people? As, as, as recent as two days ago, you're massing up people to demonstrate. What would be the moral justification? I mean, people to forget to so what should we do? Mandate. So, so what the point should, I'm saying that, the oh, point, uh, so that, that, that's, that's that, what I'm saying that we're getting there. You're getting to the point where when you're analyzing this thing and mm -hmm. looking at it from that particular side, 
for industry that has been suffocating, I mean, suffocating or suffocated and they have lost. Look, take a look at, if you look at the losses, I wish I had the KPMG, but I, I was mm. if Rudy is listening or Gizzo, oh, Sadiq, somebody should send it to us. Sadiq, we know what you're losses. saying. Oh, so I'm on. saying to you that a number of these companies are on the verge of possibly wiping out if they don't do a, a single thing this December to at least save save what is left of them. So for I, this guess, year. I guess George's question so is, at the, risk, at the risk of them. what? No, uh, you see, at just say, hold on. There are two. There are two. Sadiq, hold on. There are two questions that I have. Yes. One. Like Jesse rightly asked, at the risk of what? And two, losing it all. Hold on. What is the guarantee that this one event you are going to do is what's going to save you? Where's exactly. the what's the guarantee? George, you see the person. I mean, really, I'm, what is the guarantee? Because hold on, for instance, it's, it's their reality. I, see, I'll give what, you an example. The Sadiq, hold on. Sadiq, Sadiq, get the question well so that you can approach it properly. For instance. Image Brew want, wanted to organize an event, mm. wanted to organize a we gospel wanted, rock show. Foundation wanted. You understand? Hold on. But then um, we looked at the venues that were available. And um, Grand Arena probably would have been the best option, but it wasn't available on the date that we wanted it. So we had to go to the conference center main auditorium. Main auditorium gave its rules. You cannot have more than 700 people. Mm. You understand? And then um, there's a cost, of course. You do the cost of light, sound, everything, publicity, everything. And we realized that if we went ahead to do it, you'd be running at a loss of 67,000 cities. Mm. At a loss. You try to go to the National Theatre. The National Theatre tells you that you can only have up to 500 people. That is because of COVID. That is our limit. Maximum number of people in the auditorium. 500 people. So, of course, you do your math. Though the venue is a little cheaper, you still do your math. You're still running in the negatives. The only place where you could break even was Grand Arena. And that is break even. And that is if you take the full auditorium and you go at half capacity, which will be 2,000 people. Think that all Hold on, let longer. me land. So you are an event planner. You want to do an event. You do all this math. And you think this is your last chance George, to be George, able to survive 2020. because you are 21? thinking of it conventionally. You are thinking of it pre because of, in the ways we are thinking of it pre-COVID. Let me give you an example. There's an event being held by, uh, what's her name? If yeah, is it today or tomorrow? Yes, today. The car yes, the one, car the open and air, yeah. Okay. It's also, there's a part of it as well, from what I understand or what I've heard, where the content is being given exclusively to a, an online platform that is paying for it. Mm. Have you thought about that as well? So now more than ever, we are moving into a realm where we are not thinking like we're thinking before 2019 when we're making all the, this analysis. Now we are thinking beyond it and thinking even the content. Yes, mm. yes. yes. Yeah. that's why now even yeah. when you're doing, like if I have to do an event today where I didn't sign off licenses with the talent for, say, his song for that particular content, today I'll sign that. Mm -hmm. Because I know that there's, a, there's an additional revenue I could make by selling the content to, say, Seek. Mm -hmm. Or um, even Netflix, mm -hmm. iFlix, and all these particular plat uh, platforms. Yeah. That where we didn't used to do that here, where you do the event, it goes live on TV, and then that's it. Now you're thinking of it from the additional revenue elements that you can, um, uh, um, part that you can also rake in some extra money. So don't think, as, don't think of it in the, in the ways that we we're thinking of it in 2019. Today, they know better. And they are thinking of it different. Look, it could shock you that even Rapport like they are probably trying to do, say, 500 people, space it out and everything, and then sell the content exclusively to a TV platform or a Seek VR or something. Sorry. So, so that element is there. But I'm saying that a number of these people have varied reasons why they have to do that this year. I'm saying to you that people are at the risk of losing it or if they survive COVID, <laughs> they begin at the year and it's, you don't have anything. Um, George. So for them, it, it depends. I mean, remember it's a we, we, we sat here and then we sort of um, we cried for our fellows in like small scale um, restaurants, yeah, hospitality yeah, service yeah, providers yeah, and yeah, whatnot. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and then we, I think um, one of uh, what's her name, uh, Eliza. Um, Eliza. 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 Jamrock. Yeah. Jamrock. Yeah. And they were all. Oh, let, let's congratulate them by the way. So, they, so are back. See, they are back. They are back. Yeah. At the Oak Plaza. Still now. in COVID era yeah she launched, launched at a new yeah. venue yeah. yeah and from all indications i mean i had two persons who went there that was a super cool thing yeah. and again i am saying that in covid we we were crying for her we were commiserating with her and other you know like-minded enterprises still under covid 
So what is it? Because she gave us details of persons who have been asked to go home and we were like, yeah. okay, listen, some of these enterprises, once the government interventions are coming, physical, they should be considered. And I doubt, we do not know whether she received her bit of her application because she did apply. Yeah. yeah. Uh, let's assume that she didn't. Um, like she applied and didn't get anything. She's managed to, through whatever means and form, to keep her business afloat mm -hmm. and yesterday she put together an event to yeah. relaunch so what is she doing right under COVID, under these dire straits that others are not doing are not because doing well. if we sit down and would want to look up to government that whatever figures have been mentioned during the state of nations address will trickle down and then save us i'm saying that without government like you are saying you are citing um, the other other avenues of revenue streams that could be harnessed to prop but, until but, COVID. Yeah. But, but, you know, so but, but Rasta, you'd also agree with me that as I always say in Satsunan in Satsian in yeah, but, yeah. you know, uh, all five fingers and same. Mm -hmm. Um such discussions I think it's always fair we operate on uh, on an equal platform. Mm -hmm. All things being equal, uh, how do they say it in economics? Cateris paribus. Cateris paribus. Cater yeah, paribus, you know, that one. All things being equal. Let's assume that everybody is operating on a level playing field because I do not know what kind of financial backing someone like a Jamrock may have. You understand? So we assume that Jamrock and anti Choba are at the same level. Mm -hmm. That is the level at which we should approach it. So if we say... Why has Jamrock been able to come back and Antisi Choba hasn't been able to come back? I think it would be unfair to Antisi Choba because Very we do unfair. not know. Yes, exactly. And so and I think it would the, be fair we look also, at it see, on a level playing field. There's something that we are all discounting here. Mm -hmm. the, for the things that has been done, activities that are, that are approved or not approved during COVID period and everything, obviously comes from, again, state actors. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So in this particular instance, they would say, oh, you can't do this, you can't do this, you can't do this. From what I understand, the event that's going to happen in December, for instance, part of what has given them the, the vim to go ahead with it is also engagement with state actors. It started with the nightclubs, they were, it was open. So what we are getting, what I'm getting now is that since the, the protocols have been relaxed to accommodate all these things, of course, if he hasn't, Nobody will go ahead or nobody, the state actors will not allow for some of these promotions that is going on for events that's happening in December. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of major things that is happening in December and we know how it will play out. So obviously, it also means one thing. It means that maybe, I mean, Ghana is COVID free yeah. <laughs> after yeah. all. Yeah. And maybe, uh, you know, well, in favor of God. Maybe we are waiting for that massive announcement and, you know, but in the absence of that, Things are happening, obviously, with the involvement and my advice. Of authority. My so advice would be: we take our personal safety into our hands. We will attend the event. We will work. We'll produce the event, but we'll keep our mask on and we'll ensure we do the best that we can to be socially distanced and would we'll follow the protocols. I mean, I always have a sanitizer this, with me. Maybe for the you know, we should. What has been? What is the? What is the state? The state position on all these things that's what about to happen in? Because we saw that beyond the return calendar that came, yeah. the number of events yeah. and protocols Well, we've and also been joined by the, 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 the chairman of the Creative Arts Council, yeah. Honorable Mark Okrikumante. Stylish uh, minister. Uh, uh, yes, yeah. Honorable, yeah. Honorable yeah. Mark Okrikumante Min is in the house. Yeah. 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 Whether they make you minister or not, you are honorable. <laughs> Yeah, can't you see now when he's working? one or you Sadi, Sadi, you know, see insecurity. You see the way he's standing by the door. He's standing by the door. Special assistant. Exactly. Making sure that things go as planned. When we come back, we're going to speak about the creative aspects. Stay on its joy. I hail you.